countries all over the world, uh, the issues of food and uh, the quality and quantity of food is a problem. So many people go hungry without food. And so it's important uh, that science provides the food because everywhere food is needed. It is an item that uh, everyone is concerned about. We have an opportunity to use strategic research and knowledge management to improve uh, the quality of the food that is available uh, for humanity, to address the challenges of increased population, but also the quality of the food that we, uh, we, we take in. My name is Paul Nampala. I'm an agricultural scientist, and uh, I do a lot of work, especially linked to the crop sciences, uh, and using tools such as biotechnology to increase production. We have plenty of food, but then the, the, the nutritional bit of it is not okay. In my lab, we have tried to address these issues, and we have tried to improve legumes and develop new varieties of legumes that address issues of quality and quantity of food and these have been uh, very well received because they have desirable traits that people would like to use. And the advances are moving on to try and incorporate other desirable traits such as vitamin A. So instead of us uh, taking in capsules for vitamin A, we just eat the foods that we have and we sort out the problems that we have. I think the opportunity is that the biotechnology tools can help us do exactly that because we can biofortify virtually everything. We can put iron in shoes. I believe that agriculture as a science has a, a significant contribution to, to dealing with the issues that are all around us. And so our work has uh, focused on trying to deal with these constraints. Uh, for example, the aphids, the bugs uh, that uh, simply come and kill the crop. So you try to deal with the constraints. Uh, and in this case, we are dealing with issues of trying to ensure that production is viable. It's something about it, not necessarily it being very focused, so the changes shouldn't be bad. Changes. But any technology has its own problems. And of course, we cannot afford not to embrace these technologies because sustainability issues are then a big problem. So if in Africa we do not embrace uh, these issues and train scientists and uh, build our scientific uh, base, uh, then our economies will always uh, lag behind. Science is about uh, sharing uh, what we know. Any science that is not shared uh, is not good science.